Let us leap into the first round of the Take a Bow Division. Who will receive ovations? Who will exit stage left? Let's find out. The singing mouse was transported to Cape Canaveral, right where the leatherback turtle was laying her eggs. Undeterred, the singing mouse leapt onto an egg to begin his performance. When a whole clutch of eggs descended upon him, the singing mouse was squished. The turtle wins. Hi everybody, I'm Carl the Bat and I'm back for another March Mammal Madness. I'm flying right above the Guadalupe Island where the elephant seal is basking in the sun. You know, just living its best life. The elephant seal looks like he's getting ready to roar though. And here comes the corn boar moth teleporting in. Woo. Oh, there he goes. The seal is roaring and he blows the moth right off the field of battle. The elephant seal wins. We are here in Babbler Memorial State Park, just outside St. Louis. Our combatants have seen each other, and they are both hissing. The snake has gone into full defense mode, thrashing about, and Ooh. now it's playing dead. Wait, here comes a, a frisbee? And a border collie chasing it has crashed into the possum. The dog has run off. Now both animals are playing dead. Um, hello? Anyone? Uh, well, we will keep monitoring this developing situation. <laughs> the coral snake weighs four and a half stoats on average. Meanwhile, the flame bowerbird only averages 0.6 stoats. Hello friends, it's me, Carl the Bat, and I'm flying high above the Kachinga Forest in Brazil. Let's take a look. It looks like the coral snake has just noticed the flame bowerbird. And here come some tourists. And one of them is actually going to pick up the snake. Can you believe it? That's a really bad idea, kids. We know the rhyme. Red and yellow can kill a fellow, but red and black is a friend of Jack. Well, that rhyme only applies to coral snakes that are in the United States. This snake bites this particular Jack. Look at him, he's being taken away in a medical care unit and the snake is being relocated far away from tourists. Well, the flame bower bird, he's just sitting there and I guess he wins. What just happened? Meanwhile, at the snake possum site, there is still no activity. We move on. The elegant dancing frog was transported mid-pirouette to the great white shark's home habitat, where unfortunately the shark was chomping on a seal. I'm in danger! The frog arrived oh, atop the no. seal and was flung directly into the shark's gullet. The shark, now with a frog in her throat, <coughs> is the winner. <coughs> Hey kids, it's Carl, your eye in the sky, and I'm high above the Antelope Flats in the Teton Mountains, where there's a herd of pronghorns. They're making their way through the snow. And here's the wrinkle-faced bat. Hey there, bat. Hey, how you doing? He looks like he's shivering on a fence post. It is a little cold out here for us uh, flying mammals. The pronghorn's approaching the fence, and he seems to try to be crawling under it. Oh my back! Ouch! That's gotta hurt. Looks like the pronghorn has lacerated his back on the barbed wire fence and is yelling in pain. The bat, not wanting to fill out a witness report, has fled the scene. It looks like the pronghorn wins. Oh my back! Breaking news! This just in! We have movement on the field! I repeat, movement on the field! The snake is, is up and looking around and has scooted off the field of battle! Hey! Hey! A possum! Wake up! You've won! <sighs> Hey everybody, it's Carl, your eye in the sky, and I'm flying above a bitter bark tree in southwest Gabon. The forest elephant is foraging, and there goes a little honeybee flying right over the elephant's head to her hive in the tree. Look at her, she's doing a dance, telling the other bees where to find some nectar. The elephant's nearing the tree, and he hears a buzzing in the hive, and he seems to be hmm. thinking back to a memory of his childhood. 
Well, he's decided he's going to avoid that tree and he's walking off the battlefield. The honeybee wins. The Swamp Nightjar was March Mammal magic to the tropical rainforest of French Guiana as the sun set. The Howler Monkey was about to go to sleep high in the tree canopy. The nocturnal nightjar, however, was just waking up. It called out, and the Howler Monkey started at the strange noise. And the monkey panicked, fleeing farther up the tree. The Swamp Nightjar wins! And so, the curtain descends on the first round of battles. On to the second round! On behalf of all our rodent and rodent-adjacent reporters, we thank you for watching. <laughs>